Hi, uh, today I want to share a very interesting story with you, uh, which uh, was uh, in my practice. Uh, my name is Janis Slezins, I'm board certified neurosurgeon practicing in Riga, Latvia. So when I describe and explain patients what is arachnoid cyst, I usually uh, describe it as an emptiness or basically empty space within the skull. So in normal situation when brain grows, it occupies the whole space within the skull but due to some uh, growth defects are not clinically significant it's not always the case not always brain occupies the whole space that is inside the skull and uh, sometimes some empty space stays there and this is arachnoid cyst <clears throat> so arachnoid cyst is basically fluid filled cavity which does not cause any pressure on brain. It does not uh, require treatment in majority of cases. And one of the most impressive cases in my life was uh, a pediatric case. It was a four-year-old boy who was admitted to children's hospital in Riga, Latvia. Initially, it was thought that it is some kind of gastrointestinal case because boy was vomiting, he was avoiding eating. He was also complaining of headaches. Therefore, uh, initially it was thought that he has some kind of virus that are quite common in this age group. However, when the doctors have ruled out all the possible viruses and started to pay attention more to his headaches, then it was noticed that he is also slightly confused. And therefore, uh, MRI scan uh, was performed and uh, arachnoid large uh, left-sided uh, temporal uh, lobe region uh, arachnoid cyst was found and that was obvious that this cyst is quite big and causing a lot of pressure on the uh, uh, brain tissue therefore this uh, represents a very rare case when the arachnoid cyst is actually growing which when it's causing pressure on the brain <coughs> and this uh, patient was uh, brought uh, to the surgical theater and surgery was performed. Uh, surgery is quite straightforward. Basically, it involves uh, dissection or resection of the wall of the arachnoid cyst. So the inside compartment of the arachnoid cyst, the fluid that is inside the cyst is connected to the fluid uh, spaces outside of the cyst and therefore it does not accumulate any pressure. It was obviously there was extreme pressure inside the cyst during surgery when we opened the cyst. And as a miracle, uh, after surgery, immediately all the symptoms uh, disappeared and the boy was back to his normal. So uh, by saying all of this, I want to emphasize that in most of the cases, in vast majority of the cases, arachnoid cyst has no symptoms and does not require any treatment. <clears throat> However, there are very rare occasions when arachnoid cysts are progressing and can cause headaches. They can on also, in rare circumstances uh, or rare occasions, it can cause uh, epileptic seizures as well. In context of epilepsy and in the presence of arachnoid cyst, it always needs to be ruled out that the cyst is a possible cause of seizures. And if it is, surgery can cure epilepsy by just removing part or puncturing the arachnoid cyst. So the pressure that it causes is taken away from the brain and therefore irritation and seizures are gone.